Welcome to Fit Factor Training Weekend Warrior Workout. Today's workout is under 20 minutes. All you need is a water bottle, a happy disposition, and a chair. 35 seconds of activity, 15 seconds of rest. knees marching whichever one works for you this is the only one that's going to change because i want to give you a chance to wake up your body if you're on the pacific coast or if you're on the east coast you've already been going all day so you should be here i've been up since three so i should be here too all right we have a little bit of break we're going next to the double squat for this round is heel raises so you go down, down, heel raise. Down, down. Shoes are so weird. Ready? Let's go. Down, two, butt back, lift the heels. Down, two. Keeping that core tight. Down. Up. I want you to fire your quads. Did I mention yesterday these pants are squat proof? Nobody will know what kind of underwear you have on. Now every instructor will tell you we have our favorite kinds of underwear that leave no lines, but that conversation's for another day. Check it out. Yes. Where we're going next, pendulum lunges. I'm gonna stand here next to a chair, stepping forward, and then you step back. Forward. Now we're not touching the ground, so we're not kneeling down. You're just getting kind of close. You can do it without a chair, but sometimes we get a little wobbly. We need balance, right? It's only this one leg it's to go front and back. One. 
one leg, mountain climber. Forearms. Woo-hoo. We're only going to be using that right leg, going to the side and back. I want you to crunch your obliques. Tight. You gotta breathe. Exhale, shoo. halfway point. Grab a quick sip of water. Get back in that plank position. It's time for your cardio burst. Plank jacks is what we have first. You want to get in that position. Solidify that core. Keeping your upper body stationary. Hop those feet out and in. Out and in. Out and in. You got this. Breathe. Push yourself. Don't you stop, we're almost there. Final push, final push. Break is coming. Woo, get out of that position. Rest. Shake it out, deep breath in. 10 more seconds of rest. You're going into a lunge knee lift. Put your right leg behind you. Dropping that knee down towards the ground. You're going to jump or not. The right knee coming up and then going back behind you, sinking down in the hips. Keep your core tight. You lift and drop back, sink down, up, back, down, lift, back, down. Come on, straight up. Let's go. You got this. Up. Come on, come on. Up. Break, break, break. Breathe. Rest. Jacks are next. Shake it out. Traditional fast jacks. You have three options. Either your tap outs, regular jacks, or your plie jacks. Totally up to you, but give me that 150% that you know you're worth. Keep moving. Arms over your head is increasing your heart rate. Push, come on. Don't let this go to waste, come on, come on. Make sure that your knees are tuned out, that you're not caving in the knees. Almost there, break, shake it out. 
We have that other side lunge with the knee lift. So left leg goes behind you when you're ready. Dropping down to that lunge position. You're going to lift the left knee up into the chest. Adding the hop or not. Down, lift, set the foot back, reset, sink down. Remember that back heel is up like you're stepping off a curb or you're wearing your high heel shoes that you keep in the back of that closet. Drop, up, drop. Do not forsake your form for speed. You want to load in a low position and fire up high, bringing that knee up towards the chest. You're almost there. Four more seconds. Yes. Rest. You've got your rest right here. We're moving right back in. Take that breath. Back to the top. Here we go. Makes it more fun. Oh. All right, lateral 
Rest. Bend. Remember option one. Ready? Right, leaning off to the side. Option one. Regardless of what option you're in, your legs are kind of wider than hip distance. You're leaning with that bottom shoulder, but the top shoulder doesn't collapse. We're keeping it open. And you're standing. Toes are tuned out. Hips stay low. Hip. Rest. One leg mountain climbers. We're almost done. Right leg gets to do the work. Remember your option can be up high. You can even be here. As long as you're crunching that right side. And that right foot never touches down. And you're hitting a straight leg form behind. When that leg extends back, you're getting some glute action in. So it's a double duty, triple duty exercise. Especially if you're here, because you're working quad, glutes, shoulders, core, obliques. How many is that, five? Come up, shake Rest. it out. We have our alternating front kicks. Two more exercises, then we'll be done. Okay, up, out, in, down, right? Not here. Maybe here. Maybe here. I want to see pictures of you rocking these exercises.